Hello there. Another interesting board for me to run through from an Andrew Robson Bridge duplicate. Details of all our duplicates on your screen. Also details of my instructional daily bridge casts for all levels of player. These YouTube clips are aimed at the more experienced player. Now, West dealing and opening one spade. What about North? What do you think? Take out double is possible. But I think I prefer the Michaels two spade bid showing five cards in hearts and a five card minor, unspecified minor. Being able to show the two suited hand probably gives that bid an edge over the take out double, but it's close. East is going to make a non-vulnerable nuisance of themselves and go three spades with their fit and shape. Now South knows they have an eight card minor suit fit, either an eight card club fit or a ten card diamond fit. And South's got some useful cards, a couple of aces there and also jack of hearts, jack ten of clubs. So South's four club bid is what's termed pass or correct. Partner, pass four clubs if you've got clubs or correct to four diamonds if you've got diamonds. Pass or correct. West is minimum, West passes. Now, North's too good merely to bid four diamonds with that hand. North has a really, really powerful hand. North knows South has support for both the miners. North probably has a few spades, given North is void, and East West haven't bid to four spades, they've bid only to three spades. All of which means it's really quite likely South is very short in hearts. So North really does love their hand. And that four spade bid says, we're definitely going to play in game, possibly slam, and I've got spades controlled. Over to you. Well, South already was suspecting partner had a void spade. Now, pretty much certain partner has a void spade. So the ace of spades is not such a great card. South's not going to bid a slam. South is going to go five clubs. Remember, South is still under the illusion partner has hearts and clubs, which is not nearly as good for South as hearts and diamonds, clearly. So five clubs, pass all correct. Pass if you've got clubs. Bid five diamonds if you've got diamonds. There we are, north bidding five diamonds. South could be quite weak to bid four clubs. It was a competitive bid, so north has no business going six. Could be missing the ace and king of diamonds, for example. But south has every business going six, with five card support, ace ten to five. Six diamonds, says south. And that's the contract, played by North. East looking no further than their side's bid and supported suit. So this six diamond contract is a fabulous slam contract. We'll win the ace, we'll shed a club. And now we're essentially on the position of the king of diamonds to make the over trick here. So we're going to come to our hand in hearts and we are going to run the queen of diamonds. Well, we're going to lead the queen of diamonds. When I say run it, I'm not sure we're going to run it. We're going to lead it and see what happens. Now, East certainly shouldn't cover, even if they've got the king, because they won't be able to promote a lower diamond, knowing the North declarer has five diamonds. But defenders are known to make mistakes. And if East does have the king, you may get a flicker. Now, when East plays low smoothly, I actually think you should play the ace. Maybe West's king is singleton. But even if it's not singleton, it's better to go with the ace because now you've got enough trumps to go round and you don't have to worry about establishing a fifth heart or a third club trick. Whereas if you ran the queen and it lost to West's king, 
then you'd have to generate an extra trick from somewhere. So I think we're going to go with the Ace of Diamonds. This will only be very much the wrong play if West is void in Diamonds. But how likely is that when West couldn't go up to four spades? Not vulnerable over South's four clubs. I'm sure West has to have a Diamond. Indeed. Right. And now the slam is secure. Doesn't matter if the Queen of Clubs falls. We don't need it to fall. I mean, actually, it does fall, which means the Jack of Clubs is a winner. But let's pretend that West played a small club. There are eight cards remaining and you've got eight diamonds, four in each hand. So you can cross rough the last eight tricks. So that Queen of Clubs dropping made, makes no difference at all. We're going to cross rough. Well, I mean, we could rough it if we wanted to, but we do know it's a winner, so let's not rough it. Wouldn't matter if West had roughed, by the way. West is choosing not to rough, perhaps in the vain hope of drawing two trumps with their king. Nothing matters from here. Happily cross roughing. West is down to three kings, but I'm afraid West will win only one of we three kings. Waiting patiently and scoring the last trick with their king of diamonds, but we don't care. Slam made. I hope you enjoyed the deal. Michael's in action. Would North South have got to six diamonds if North had made a takeout double of one spade? One spade double. East would go three spades, which is semi preemptive after a double. Incidentally, if it goes one spade double and you've got a genuine limit raise to three spades, about 11 points, then you bid two no trumps. So that's a little bit like Jacoby, but you don't have to have a game force. It frees up one spade double, three spades to be much weaker like this. But Southwood now no partner was very, very short in diamonds. So I think Southwood probably go four diamonds. And as soon as South bids four diamonds, North is driving to a diamond slam. So there's no way to keep North-South out of six diamonds there. Hope you enjoyed the deal. Look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.